Hey guys, Zach here with Rugged Suppressors, and today I'm gonna to be going over the three mounting options that Rugged Suppressors has for suppressors that are threaded in one and three eighths by 24, otherwise known as 1.375 by 24. So the first option we have is the direct thread. This is the direct thread mount that comes with the Alaskan TI, but we have a ton of different thread patterns depending on your rifle. It's a perfect option if you're looking to be as light as possible for a hunting or precision rig, or you don't wanna purchase any kind of muzzle devices and wanna simply thread it straight onto your rifle. The second option is the RUM or Rugged Universal Mount. This mount is perfect for upgrading your suppressor to a dual taper locking system, which is our QD mounting system. If you're not familiar with our dual taper locking system, how it works is this front taper here is what's creating a gas seal and making the suppressor concentric with your rifle. That way, whenever you're putting it on and off, you're not gonna have any kind of impact shift. So you don't have to re-zero your rifle every time you put the suppressor on and off. Another huge benefit is it's gonna maintain the accuracy of your rifle. Then with this rear taper, how it works is it's gonna create a friction lock between these two tapers. That means there's no kind of ratchet system that wears down over time. And whenever you're shooting and your suppressor and the muzzle device are heating up and expanding and contracting, you're not gonna have any kind of problems with the suppressor getting locked on to your muzzle device. And that's gonna work in conjunction with that front tapers gas seal as well. You're not gonna have any kind of carbon buildup on your threads. So it's a huge benefit of this muzzle device. It's going to maintain your accuracy you're not gonna have to re-zero whenever you put it on and off, and then it's not gonna get locked onto your firearm or walk off when you don't want it to. Another feature that this muzzle device has that you're not gonna see anywhere else is our go, no-go gauge. How that works is you thread the suppressor down, twist and lock that collar, and then it's gonna cover up the no-go. That way you'll just see the go and have a visual indicator to know that your suppressor is properly attached. So now we're gonna go over how to use the different attachment methods with the Alaskan series. This is the Alaskan TI, but it'll also work with the Alaskan 360. First thing we're gonna do is remove that front cap. So you're gonna take your rugged multi-tool, that or you can use our standard rugged front cap tool or the totem front cap tool. Take an 11 16 wrench, go ahead and loosen it. And then once it's loose, you can just go ahead and loosen it with your fingers. And for me personally, that happens to be the fastest method. You're then gonna insert your rugged multi-tool. You're gonna feel that pop into place so that you know it's properly attached. And then take your retainer tool and thread that down. From here, you're gonna go ahead and throw it in the vise and take a three-fourths wrench to remove that direct thread. Once that's removed, your suppressor is ready to put on any kind of one and three eighths by 24 mounting device. Again, for this, we're gonna be throwing on the rum. Go ahead and thread that down hand tight. Now we're gonna grab the dual taper adapter tool here and drop it in. You'll feel it lock into place, then you're gonna lock your locking collar. If you get confused of which direction is locked and unlocked, if you look on there, you'll see an unlock lock arrows on each side to know which direction switch. You're then gonna grab a torque wrench set to 25 foot pounds with a three four socket, throw it on there and tighten it down. Then just simply unlock the collar, remove the dual taper adapter tool, take the suppressor off, and then you're gonna remove that retainer tool. 
to get out the rugged multi-tool. Again, one thing that's awesome about this is it has that front cap tool built in. So whenever you're putting your front cap back on, you don't have to have multiple tools. You just have your dual taper adapter tool for the rum mount, and then the multi-tool works for the front cap, putting it on to hold the front of the suppressor steady, and it also works for the universal cage, which you'll see in a couple minutes. So that's good to go. Now your suppressor is ready to be used with a dual taper locking system. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do whenever you're putting your suppressor on is make sure that your firearm is fully unloaded and then that your locking collar is unlocked. So simply thread on the suppressor and then twist and lock your locking collar. What you can do now is double check with your go, no go gauge that you can't see the no go. This allows you to have a visual indicator to know that the suppressor is properly attached and whenever you fire first round, you're gonna have any surprises with the can going down range. To remove, wait for the suppressor to cool, grab the can, twist unlock for the collar and simply unthread it. And that's how the dual taper locking system works in conjunction with the rugged universal mount. We're now going to go over how to remove the rum mount in order to attach the universal cage. The universal cage is an awesome upgrade if you have a suppressor that's threaded in 1.375 by 24 and also is rated for handgun calibers. It essentially allows you to use the rugged booster system and the three lug mount in order to run your suppressor on a handgun, pistol caliber carbine, or your subgun. The first thing we're going to do for this is to remove the front cap with the multi-tool. So first, align the multi-tool with the front cap, and then twist it loose with your 11 16 wrench. From here, you can use your fingers or you keep using the multi-tool. I personally just prefer to use my fingers because I found that it's the fastest method for me. Once your front cap's removed, you're going to go ahead and throw in the rugged multi-tool with the retainer. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use two wrenches in order to remove the rum mount and put on a universal cage. To reiterate, the best way to do this is with a vise and using a torque wrench, but we know you're not always going to have that on the range, so we designed it so that you can use just two wrenches. The first thing you're going to do is take your 11 16 wrench and set it up so that it's facing in the opposite direction of you. This allows the table and everything to do the work, that way you're not fighting two wrenches and trying to keep everything steady. You're then going to take your three-fourths wrench and attach it on the rum side and then just twist and start loosening it up. You're then just going to grab it by hand and unthread your rum mount. I personally keep the adapter tool in there because it allows you to know where it is at all times and the only time you're going to use it is with your rum mount. That way it's locked up and ready to go whenever you're ready to put it back onto your suppressor. From here, you're going to grab your universal cage, thread it into place. Then remove your retainer tool in order to get to your tool inside. Throw your front cap back on. And then tighten it with the rugged multi-tool.
that same multi-tool is going to be used to tighten onto the universal cage. Again, just grab your 11 sixteenths and it's good to go. From here, you can put on any kind of rugged pistol system, such as a booster system or a three lug mount. We're going to throw on the booster system. Whenever you're doing this, remember with the booster, you want to make sure that it's clean and your piston's lubricated. This is going to prevent any kind of end cap strikes and allow your suppressor to cycle better. So you're just going to thread that down in there. And it's good to go. So now you simply just thread this onto your handgun and you've got a suppressor that's went from being able to use a rum mount with our dual taper locking system to now being able to use it on a handgun with a booster system or a three lug mount. Thanks for watching. Again, this video is just going over the three options. If you want to run a rum in your universally threaded suppressor, the direct thread, or the universal cage. If you have any other questions, please visit us at ruggedsuppressors.com.